find the coordinates of P which divides uh, line uh, the line segment joining A 8 comma 9 so this is point A 8 comma 9 and B negative 7 4 in the ratio of 2 is to 3 so I've taken a point P an arbitrary point somewhere between A and B and that is dividing this line segment AB in the ratio of 2 is to 3. Now what does that mean? Uh, that first means is AP is to BP is 2 is to 3. So if a, AP is 2 parts, BP is 3 parts. So in other words, AP is uh, 2 fifth of AB. If AP is say 2M, BP is 3M. And the whole thing is 3, 5M. So AP is 2 fifths of AB. Same way you can say BP is 3 fifths of AB. Okay, now what is the next thing that you can say? Okay, I don't want to show all the steps. So first is AB is using distance formula is 8 take away negative 7 uh, is 8 plus 7 which is 15 squared and 9 take away 4 is 5 squared. So this is 225 plus 25 is uh, square root of 250. Okay, so I'll leave that as it is. So now using again the distance formula, I am using this here. So AP is 2 fifth of AB, and that's what I've done. Uh, AP, using the distance formula, I can write uh, X minus 8 squared plus Y minus 9 squared is 2 fifth of AB which is square root of 250. Now I'm going to square both sides. So this is what comes here to square this and here the radicals are removed. Okay, oops. Uh, so going further, now this is the expansion of this so I'll not, exp I hope you understand this expansion. I have grouped them and arranged it in order. So 8 squared is 64 and 9 squared is 81. Okay, so now simplifying that further, uh, you get uh, this simplifies to this, and ultimately you get x squared plus y squared as this. I hope you understand that. Okay, same way uh, when you use BP is 3 fifths of AB, that's what I'm going to do the next step. Okay, so BP is the distance from B to P which is x take away negative 7, which is x plus 7, and y take away 4 squared. The same principle, squaring both sides, you get this. Again, square of 3 is 9, and square of 5 is 25. So 25 goes in 50, 10 times, and that's how I get this step. Again, this is the expansion of this. You can check that yourself. Okay, again, expanding this ultimately you get this. So you got two equation, equation one and equation two. Equation one, the left hand side is x squared plus y squared and equation two also has left hand side x squared plus y squared. So I hope you can see what my next step would be. Okay, f of one and two, I can say that this, this is equal to, this is equal to this. And that's what I've done. Okay, so that's now making, uh, if you add 14x to this side, you have to add 14x to this side. So, and now you're dividing by 10, you get this. And making y the subject, y is 13 minus 3x. Okay, so if that's done, I'm now substituting 3 in 2. Now, where is 2? This is 2. So in place of y, I can put 13 minus 3x. So in place of y, I can put 13 minus 3x in both these places. That's what I've done in the next step. Uh, this is equation 2. This is equation, rewritten equation 2. And this is, this becomes this. And now this is a simple expansion. I, you can go over the steps. I hope you can understand the simplifiers to this. 18 times, 8 times 13 is 104. 
uh, this is the expansion of this this is the expansion of this and making a, making it a quadratic equation you come to this and this is a perfect square of x minus 2 the whole square and this implies x is equal to 2 and if x is equal to 2 you know y is 30 minus 3x so 30 minus 6 is 7 so the coordinates are 2 comma 7 so p let me remove the wheel so the, this is the answer the coordinate is 2 comma 7 now this is to check whether our answer is right or whether the answer makes sense so we know a is 8 comma 9 b is negative 7 comma 4 and we have found p is so ap using the distance formula 8 take away 2 is 6 squared and 9 take away 7 is 2 squared so 36 plus 4 is 40 now 40 can be written as uh, square root of 4 times square root of 10 and that's how i wrote 2 root 10 and again this can be written as square root of 9 times square root of 10 and that is same as this and this is nothing but square root of 25 times square root of 10. So can you understand a, a p is 2 root 10, b p is 3 root 10 and a b is 5 root 10. So what what's the function of p or what is p doing to a b? It is dividing in the ratio 2 is to 3. So if you go 2 is to 10, ratio, uh, the ratio to 3 is to 10, the ratio is 3 is to 10.